not gonna lie to y'all, I've been waiting for this moment a very long time. Cause I'm I'm ready for 2K19. I don't know what other way to put it. 2K17 with some booty butt cheeks. Okay, we know that. I thought, yo, there's no way they can make a worse product. 2K18 drop. And at first I was like, yo, how does how that neighborhood looking though? And then as the year went on. It became apparent that although the gameplay was solid, I've been saying it all year, literally all it took was nerfing snatchbacks and blow bys, and the gameplay would have took a massive leap. But because they didn't do that, they incentivized garbage players to get by you and drop buckets and they weren't rewarding good defense. Oh, don't even get me started. I'm tired of this game. I'm deleting it for good. I won't be returning to it. All right, I haven't been playing this game seriously for months now. That's why you've been seeing me if you've been following the Facebook streams, link in the description. I've been playing 2K17, it's a lot more fun. And that game was ass. So that just, that says all you need to know about NBA 2K18. 19 can't be this bad, that's all I know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was my Playmaker build. This is the first build I made. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking because after the first day of the game's launch, I grinded the Playmaker and I was like, yo, I don't want to grind the Playmaker no more. So I just cut it out and I built a sharpshooter. I sat through all those cutscenes over again and I just decided to roll with that for NBA 2K18. I just, I, I guess maybe I just don't find satisfaction in doing all these Dribble moves, ugh, it's just too simplistic. It's the same moves over and over again. But I did have one of my favorite videos on the channel with this player. Do you guys remember? It was like five or six months ago. I titled it, My Playmaker Can Shoot Better Than Your Sharpshooter. And I wasn't playing when I said it. Uh, it was before they patched that jump shot I was using in that video. It was when the latency was low on NBA 2K18. Literally, the game was running, blah, blah, blah. And I was, uh, I was tearing it up. Okay, they're not gonna deem me. They're not gonna deem me. They're not gonna deem me. No badges, man! Oh yeah, I love being quick. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No mercy, no mercy! Bang! Excellent. Hold up. I'm just learning this, give me a time. Pop step, pop step. Oh! It feel good! Yo. Nah. Nah! Nah! Oh, this was definitely my sharpshooter build, 91 overall. I can, I can upgrade him now, but I don't want to, because ever since the first week of the game launch, I've been in 91. This is the first year where I got sick and tired of using the pure sharp, man. I couldn't do it anymore. I tried, but if you're a pure sharp and you're playing in a competitive game, you're a glorified pylon. You basically aren't moving anywhere. You're either sitting in the corner or at the hash here and just watching the point guard do dribble moves and you're boring ass five out set. I was sick of it. On top of the fact that the variable latency was out of control, I've never in my life met a sharpshooter who can't catch and shoot without doing one of these leaning shots like an idiot. There's so much wrong with this build and I know it's a good build, but it just wasn't fun to play. After like January or February, I just stopped using it in general. And then things got really bad when everybody figured out the animation glitch and I was like, yo, if I wanna keep up, I gotta do the glitch myself. And then that kinda just ruined the entire meta and it made me not even wanna play with this build in general. The second the animation glitch came out, sharpshooters on the hierarchy of top builds slid down and it was stretch bigs doing their hippity hops who climbed all the way to the top. And at that point I was like, I don't have a stretch big. Anyway, I got bored of the build, put it to rest, but I did have some really lit videos with it though. Yeah? Two, uh, something like green that. light, green light, you better guard up. Yeah. Is that what the kids say these days? Vortex. Oh, 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 oh. AJ! <laughs> Waffle man been at. Hold up. Oh my, some sauce. Some sauce. Some sauce. I got Hall of Fame anchor breaker real life, bro. Not just a t shirt. I'm joking. I don't got that shit in real life. My shit like bronze. So I was recording a video and I needed someone's account and I've kind of put out a tweet. Connor hit me back, said, Joe, you can use my account. And so I ran through all his players and I landed on his slasher primary, sharpshooter secondary. And boy, did that video change the course of the channel. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh. Oh! I got blood. Give me the yeah, he got blood. All the way. 
No screens necessary, yo. That's game. Ah! Oh. <laughs> yo, dead ass, it feels... It's like a whole new world, man. Uh, basically, I decided I want that exact same build. So I created it, ladies and gentlemen. 89 overall, slashing primary, sharp shooting secondary, max weight, 6'10". So I could guard post scorers down low, and I could keep up with the guards all day, baby. It was the perfect versatile build. Mwah. This build was pure perfection. Here's what I'll do. So like my pure sharp, I can still hit shots from all the way over here, usually. <laughs> But what I like to do the most was I'll get the ball, put it in my right hand. This right here is a blow by animation 1000% of the time. I don't care if you have 1000 strength. I was getting that blow by all the time. ISO, ISO, drive. It literally took zero skill. But I loved because I had the glitched animations doing some hippity hop action, hop, do the sharpshooter, green light from limitless range. Not only could I shoot like I was a sharpshooter with this build, I didn't feel like I was shooting any worse with this build, especially when I put on those pro-am boosts. But I was dunking on folks, I had a way more exciting player, and I was no longer a pylon. I've been trying to tell people all year that this is the most versatile, fun build. If you, if you wanted to only create one build, and you wanted to do it all, this was the build to do it. So around the time where I got incredibly bored of playing Park, I started playing a lot of Pro-Am. And when I retired the sharpshooter, I didn't really know if I was gonna continue playing Prime. But when I created this player and we started to get some games in, it was super clear. For the win, man. Let's go for the win. Don't cut. Don't cut. Don't cut, man. Don't cut. Don't cut. Take his head. Don't spread it out, man. Spread it. Go, go for it. It all comes down to this. We're running a five out. Dev drives his defender, drags, and he finds an open shot with a late contest. Oh. Go up. And easily my favorite moment of the year was playing Pro-Am when we made it to the finals and had to play against g -Size. Ladies and gentlemen, we were put to the test. It was probably one of the most anticipated videos I've dropped all year and easily the one I had most fun recording. Kuda slips, Jalen still hits the shot. So we continue to hold the lead, although it's clear to us that their pick and roll is deadly. As Legend hedges, they have rebound position. Snazga miss another rebound, and that's been the story of the game, is we're just out of position, so worried about that pick and roll. So as halftime comes to an end, Jalen, Takuda, reset. Jalen on the slip, corner kick pass, that's Legend, boom! That was a brick. That was, I didn't see the brick coming at all, actually. I know we lost, but anyway, it got me really hyped on Pro-Am, and as boring as it was to watch people run five out all the time, I, 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 would, I would live for those moments where it was a game-winning shot, and we hit it, and everybody would go crazy. On top of that, two of the players on our team, Kuda and Jalen, made it to the NBA 2K League. And on, on top of that, both of them are in the finals of the 2K League. I, you couldn't have scripted that shit any better. I'm super proud of those guys, man. Anyway, this is really all there was to it. The second Pro-Am finish for me, I really wasn't having much more fun on the game, right? The 2K League started up, a lot of the top Pro-Am players just stopped playing, and I was like, ah, I don't even wanna attempt to put together a team of five and play anymore. And then 2K just started to fade for me. And when it faded, I just started to play more 2K17. I couldn't stand the game anymore. There was too much obvious issues with the game that I don't think were hard fixes that 2K just wasn't doing. And for me, it made it worth not playing anymore. So I know Mike Wang is out there right now talking about all the skill gap topics. He's talking about what I wanna hear. Mike Wong, sorry. Uh, it's gonna take a second to get used to it. I put out this tweet earlier today talking about how I miss the days where I could just play 2K for endless hours and just have fun and keep playing and have fun and challenge friends and all year long, like it never really got boring for me. It's facts. I said facts right there. It wasn't until 17 and now 18 were like, the last few months, I'm like, yo, I really don't wanna play this. And so I started playing older versions of the game. That shouldn't be happening. 2K, I get it, y'all some money-making machines, okay? I know the guys that take two like to make their money and then 2K just follows suit, I understand. But hey, take this in for a little bit. If you make a good product, people will stay on the game all year long. And if people stay on the game, the likelihood they buy your virtual currency skyrockets, all right? But when people stop playing the game, 
the potential to buy BC goes down. Now, this is just logic. You don't need me to tell you that. I'm just saying, how about we just focus on making a good product next year? And I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic, man, because I don't want another bad year. But if everything goes according to plan, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I'm gonna drop so much videos. The content is gonna be so amazing. But more than all of that, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. And uh, I wanna get back to doing that. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Click on one of these two videos here. I'm out. Peace. Leave, bro. I will stab you with a knife if you get in my house and scare me. <laughs>